Uh, we're now going to go back 30 years uh, to uh, uh, staying, staying in Germany, but to uh, a, a different research department, a different university in another part of, uh, another part of Germany, um, with, uh, uh, to, to meet uh, Minkowski. Uh, please welcome, put your hands together for Stella Duffy. If I could write on that board, if there was something to write on that board with, but there isn't. I don't have to go away. I just want to do the equation. Okay, it's quite important that you can see the equation, which says open bracket plus minus 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 close bracket open bracket minus plus 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 close bracket. Now you can see it in your heads, right? Good. Okay. Um, I love that earlier when I went to see um, the telescope, Tony said to us, everything is moving. You actually use those words. And he was showing us how the motor goes at exactly the right amount of time. For those of you who know this stuff, I'm not a scientist, right? Or a person who knows about telescopes. Um, for it to move at the same time as the Earth is moving so that, you know, the picture is, is still. Um, this is called Everything is Moving, Everything is Joined. So, well done for joining it up already before we even started. Lewin Minkowski and Rachel Taubman were married beneath the hooper in a small, light synagogue. Rachel fully veiled, though Lewin had seen her face already checked in the anteroom that she was the bride she promised to be, not a substitute ugly stepsister. Walked seven times around her bridegroom. The glass was smashed beneath Lewin's foot. They were married, Mr. and Mrs. Minkowski. Two people, one name. We were married, my love, remember? We smashed glasses when we cheered our union too forcefully, smashed teeth, bones, body, when we came together not too forcefully, but just forcefully enough. Two into one, two as one. Lewin and Rachel Minkowski came together out of the sh and out of the shards of broken glass away from Germany where they themselves had begun. Mr. and Mrs. Minkowski began their sons. Oscar was born in 1858. Herman, a long, wanted, waiting time later in 1864, he was a summer baby. Born the same year that the Governor-General of Vilna, according to the wishes of the Tsar, ordered that all school books be printed only in the Cyrillic alphabet. The banning of the Lithuanian language had begun. In Cyrillic, letters have numerical values. A equals one, B equals two. Words and numbers are joined. In 1872, when Hermann was eight years old, one of the works of fiction that later morphed into part of the infamous Protocols of Zion was first translated into Russian and appeared in St. Petersburg, several different fictional works combining, uniting, presenting as one truth. This was also the year that the Minkowski family returned to Germany, Lewin and Rachel's homeland. Then, there. Hermann was eight, Oscar was 14. They were in Königsberg, Prussia. It was 1872. It was not yet Germany. It would be. Here. Now. Because the Earth is always in motion, because the Earth moves around the Sun, because the Sun moves in the galaxy, the galaxy in the universe, and on and on and in and in, because the thing, anything, you, me, an apple, is made of atoms, is made of electrons, is made of so much we have yet to know. Because everything is moving, there is no true coordinate for here. Because time is also moving, there is no true coordinate for now. We cannot measure here and now because we cannot name the one place to begin our calculation, to say, let's start here. We started here. And yet we like to think we can do this naming, name the moment, that one point of realisation, of understanding, of love. We like to play with this now and this then. And we make plans and determine and build on what is always moving, as if it is stationary, as if it will not change. It's all about perception. I built on what is always moving when I said yes to loving you. As a boy, Hermann's mathematical aptitude was noticed at the gymnasium in Königsberg. He started university in the city in 1880 and also studied at the University of Berlin in the winter that bled from 1882 to 1883. It was during that winter the first permanent street lighting was installed in Leipziger Strasse and Potsdamer Platz. Warm electric light for the cold winter nights of Hermann Minkowski's studies. Albert Einstein was born in Germany in 1879. His family were secular Jews. 
His father's name was Herming. His father worked for a company manufacturing electronic equipment. Everything is moving. Everything is joined. An apple falls from a tree. In the foreground, a train travels along a track. In the distance, another train on a parallel track travels in the same direction. The apple tree is located between both trains. From the train in the foreground, it appears that the train in the background is stationary. That it is the tree that is moving. The tree and the falling apple receding, travelling away, travelling back, behind, travelling to where we've been. It's all about perception. The trains are moving forward in time and in space. An apple has fallen. The trains have passed on. Past. Present. You loved me. Past. An apple falls from a tree. I give it to you. Present. In 1883, the French Academy of Sciences awarded the Mathematics Grand Prix to both the 19-year-old Hermann Minkowski for his manuscript on the theory of quadratic forms and also to Henry Smith, an Irish mathematician who would have been 56 had he not died two months before. The time and the place were good for Minkowski, the timing less so for Smith. An apple falls from a tree. A man is near that tree. From the first train, the man on the ground appears to walk slowly, while on the ground, the man perceives himself to be walking quickly. If the train is heading east, the apple tree appears to be heading west at an equivalent speed. Close up, the apple tree appears stationary. Nothing is stationary. It is all moving. Both move in reality and in time. It's all about perception. Light is the only constant. See? See. Let there be light. Let see be light. Herman Minkowski and David Hilbert became friends at university in Königsberg. We were friends and then we were lovers. I was married to you, became related to you. Our wedding day was an event in space and in time. But the only constant is the speed of light in a vacuum, and I was not fast enough to keep up with the bright light of you. Our life was no vacuum. When Minkowski applied for a job at the University of Bonn, his interview was an oral explanation of a paper on positive, definite, quadratic forms. He got the job. Years later, this oral presentation became the basis of his ideas on the geometry of numbers. And there is a geometry to love, an equation that is always the same. Without, with, 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 without, without, without. Back to the trains. The trees alongside the track appear to be passing the eastbound train incredibly fast. They go by in a blur, a distant cow lumbering slowly, ever so slowly, in the opposite direction appears stationary. But when the train stops, the cow is moving, the tree is stationary, time passes. Two clocks, one stationary, one moving. The passage of time appears to slow down for the moving clock. A 30-year-old man ages a day, on earth ages a day. A 30-year-old woman with the exact birthday as the man in the non-existent spaceship travelling at light speed also ages a day. Individually, time is a constant for both people. Separately, the man on earth and the woman in space are now different ages. Time for each has passed in the same way. Relative time, his to hers, hers to his, has not. A 30-year-old man loves a 30-year-old woman. She loves him. Love is a constant for both people. His love for her, her love for him, these things are not constant. It's all about perception. There is space and there is time. Had we world enough and time, and we do, and we don't, relatively speaking. It's all about perception and an apple falling not mattering as much as it once did, and time passing. In 1902, Hermann Minkowski, having taught in Zurich, where Carl Jung gained his PhD the same year, and in Königsberg, where Kant held the chair of metaphysics and mathematician Leonard Euler's work led to graph theory, and in Bonn, where Beethoven was born, returned with his family to Göttingen, where the goose girl is kissed by graduating students. David Hilbert had created a position for him in the mathematics department. The old friends, once more in the same time and place, began working together.